please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly state that the testimony you may give in the cause now pending before this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Please be seated. Please state your name for the record. Spell your first and last names. Kai Chase, K-A-I-C-H-A-S-E. Ms. Chase, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let me provide you with some instructions for which I case. First of all, please sit back and relax. Okay. Second of all, please speak in a loud voice so we can hear you. Third, uh, please answer yes or no to a particular question if you're asked, rather than using slang, uh-huh, uh-uh. And lastly, please wait until you hear an entire question before you even start to answer it. A lot of us in our daily lives speak over each other, but in a courtroom it's important to hear only one person at one time. Is all of that okay? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Brazil, cross. I'm sorry, direct. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Good afternoon, Ms. Chase. Good afternoon. Do you have specialized training for your profession? Yes, I do. And what is that? I'm a professionally trained chef. Um, I went to school in Paris at Le Cordon Bleu Academy, Culinary Academy. How long have you worked as a professional chef? About 15 years. Did you start your a restaurant or some other business? I started in a restaurant. And at some point, did you progress from working in restaurants to working for personal clients? Yes, I did. How long have you been working as a personal chef? Approximately 10 years. In March of 2009, were you working as a personal chef for Mr. Michael Jackson? Yes. Were you working for him at his residence on Carrollwood Drive here in Los Angeles? Yes. Ms. Chase, when you were working for Mr. Jackson as a personal chef, were you also cooking for his family? Yes. So you met his children, Prince? Paris and Blanket? Yes. Duties and responsibilities as a personal chef include preparing daily meals for Mr. Jackson as well as his children? Yes. Ms. Chase, I'd like you to take a look at the exhibit that I've placed on the projector previously marked as people's number five. Do you recognize who is depicted? Let me fix this. Who is depicted in people's number five? Yes, I do. Are those Michael's children, Paris, Prince, and Blanket? Yes. Describe for thank you. Describe for us your duties and responsibilities as it related to working for Mr. Jackson and his family. My duties were to prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for Mr. Jackson and his children on a daily. So every day you would report to the Carrollwood residence. Is that correct? Six days a week. Yes. So that was your full-time job? Yes, it was. As part of your duties, did you learn what each member of the Jackson family liked to eat each day for their meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes. Did you also learn to prepare what they didn't like or not prepare what they did not, not like? Not prepare what they didn't like. <laughs> and you took care of the marketing, correct? Yes, I did. Did the children participate in selecting the items that you would appear for the meals for themselves and their father? Um, no. Uh, it was basically, you know, something that I would do and prepare as a professional. Did you enjoy working for Mr. Jackson and his children? Yes, I did. As a professional chef, even working in a personal home, what type of attire would you wear on your daily work schedule? I wear a professional chef's uniform which Did consists of a professional chef's jacket and a long bistro apron in white. So it's a chef's jacket and mm -hmm. a bistro, bistro apron? Yes. 
Does the chef's jacket have pockets? Two front pockets are on the bistro apron. And that would be on the very front of your apron, right yes. in front of you? Right in front, yes. Ms. Chase, as a professional chef, is it important to track of time? Absolutely. As a professional chef, time is very important. Why is that? Well, as a professional chef, there are things that you must pay attention to. Certain things like food that's in the oven, that are baked, things that are baking, things, items that are on the stove, and also the critical timing of getting a dish out on time. So would it be accurate that as you're working as a chef, you generally have a sense of time about you as you're going through your preparations and uh, your work day? Absolutely. In addition to being time sensitive and aware of time, do you also uh, keep uh, time by looking at a clock, a watch, so forth? Yes, I do. And how is it that you generally keep time? That yourself is aware of time. <laughs> Generally, I have a cell phone on me, and I usually have that cell phone on my persons, which my pockets, where I can look at it every time I need to. When you were working in the Jackson home in March of 2009, did you keep your cell phone in your front pocket of your bistro apron of your chef's uniform? Yes, I did. Let's talk about your typical schedule. You told us that you work six days a week. Typically, what time would you arrive at the Jackson residence to begin your work day? I would arrive around 8 a.m., between 8 and 8.30 a.m. And when you first arrived, what duties did you begin your day with? My duties consisted of preparing breakfast for the children. Getting and what them, would you, I'm sorry? Getting them ready for breakfast so they could have uh, home, home studies. And what would you typically prepare for the children? Granola with almond milk, um, egg whites, that type of thing. And after you prepared the, for the children, what would your next objective for the day be? To prepare juices and breakfast for Mr. Jackson. What would you typically prepare for Mr. Jackson for breakfast? And this is focusing on the time period of March through June of 2009? Typically, it, his breakfast would consist of sometimes granola with the almond milk, like the children, or beet juice, or carrot orange juice, or sometimes he would have a ver variety of an omelet, spinach, something with a lot of vegetables in it. Was healthy eating important to Mr. Jackson? It was important to him and his children. Did Mr. Jackson make it clear to you that it was important that you prepare healthy meals for his children? Yes, he did. And did he make it clear to you that it was important that you, for him to consume? Yes, he did. During the time that you worked in the Jackson home, did you have opportunities to see Mr. Jackson eat breakfast or lunch or dinner with his children? Yes, I did. In your observations of Mr. Jackson eating with his children, did it appear to you that he had a close, loving relationship with his children? Yes. Yes, yeah, yes I did. I saw that. Did Mr. Jackson appear to be happy in the company of his children? All day, every day, yes. You've described for us how you prepared uh, daily food for the Jackson family. As part of your responsibilities, did you also prepare food for any special occasions? Birthday parties. Is there a specific birthday party during the period of time you worked March yes. through June of 2009 where you prepared special festivities for the Jackson family? Um, yes, Paris's birthday party. And when was that? The beginning of April. In 2009? In 2009. And what did you do to prepare for Paris's birthday party? This is 3.50. 3.52. So you let us know when it's a convenient time to take the mid-afternoon break? Now's a good time, Your Honor. That's why I asked. Thank you. Let's take it, ladies and gentlemen. Please remember all the admonitions and the orders regarding your conduct. We'll take that approximate 15-minute break. We'll see you back at 3 o'clock. Thank you.